what's going to happen is robots will be able to do everything better than us. Imagine if you could be at the office without the commute. You tell me what's wow. going to happen next. Wow. Wow. The most important foundational technology of our time, artificial intelligence. How could an artificial intelligence can imagine these? I'm not sure about what's going to happen next. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. We have something amazing in front of us. I couldn't believe my eyes and you won't either. Yeah. You know the topic of this content, right? Yeah, I know, yeah, but I've never seen it. We are going to use artificial intelligence in order to produce some vision content. So what are we going to do today? I'm really curious. You see these words, keywords. There are a lot of things that we're going to try. I want to have good outcomes for all of them, except one. I hope that we won't have any result from that because we are going to type Prophet Muhammad Alisirat Wissalam. We don't want any picture. No one can dare do this. So let's see what happens. Brothers, could you come to here? Okay, Furkan, could you please come? It's the first time for me, by the way, too. Yeah. He's a graphic designer. What do you think, bro? I'm going to ask the artistic style to you. And when we write the Vinci style, the brush technique changes. It's something amazing. They can imitate him. Wow. When we started to type some keywords with Yasin brother, I was speaking loud. I, I couldn't understand what is happening. This is beyond my imagination. When the people around me heard my voice, all of them came to my mind. What is happening? What is the problem? I told that, are we close to the doomsday? What is happening? Okay, are we ready? Okay, just choose one of them. Let's go with this one. Yes. Muslim people praying on space. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, we are waiting for the sounds. Really? Wow, oh, amazing! Look at this one. We even built a mosque there. <laughs> Could you see the lights? It's like spacecraft. Wow. Brother, this picture, this visual experience does not exist anywhere in the internet. Not even one computer has this picture. This is unique. We're so to us, right? Wow. Graphic designer, we don't need you anymore. <laughs> So what about a Muslim robot? Robot, yeah. Try? Yeah, sure. I want to have some visual keywords. Imagine Muslim robot. Just give some artistic style. Okay. Come on, okay. A cinematic and maybe realistic. Realistic. And also 4K. Okay. We're waiting for the sound. What is going to happen next? They say that we are going to have this for the videos too. For example, you want a man playing tennis over the cloud. Like actually moving. Moving, yeah. You're going to see that. Haha, <laughs> robot in scarf? Wow. This is a you know, female robot, so... Could you please someone tell me how this computer works? How could it know that it should be in scarf, but at the same time robot? For example, look at the detail, the glasses and scarf, hijab, mashallah, hijab, oh, very, close. very strict Muslim. Yeah. <laughs> is this a male robot? I don't know. This, these three are female, I think. This one is male. Interesting, bro. And then there's a mosque in the background, so... Really? He just came out of the prayer, I think. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Allah, may Allah accept your prayer. So the next one is aliens having dinner with Muslim family. Wow, let's try this. So maybe like in Ramadan iftar dinner. Let's see. Imagine artistic style, please. Let's try something new. Fantasy. Okay. Okay. Wow. Orange. Do you want it to be rainy or snowy? These are easy for me, you know? <laughs> snowy. I don't think that it can combine all of these. There we go. Oh, oh <laughs> aliens are having dinner. <laughs> but there are no Muslims around them. They're just only aliens. Maybe they ran away when they saw the aliens. <laughs> it's, it's <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Yeah, it, it is. It is snow. Yeah, wow. There are three UFOs. I don't know. Wow. <laughs> I'm not sure about what's going to happen next. Brother, what about the Moses? Uh, he's parting the Red Sea. With a staff? Wow. What do you say? I tried it, but I couldn't get some good result. But Ahmed brother has a different usage of vocabulary. Yeah, we can try. try. Yeah, let's try. <laughs> so Prophet Moses parting the Red Sea with his staff. And maybe Pharaoh's army is behind chasing, I don't know. Do you have any single hope that we will have a solution? There was a, you know, animation movie regarding this, but I don't know. They will inspire from this or not, I don't know. Actually, it's very enjoyable. Yeah, it is. It's surprising and entertaining, really. For Tours Eternity videos, we have to create some thumbnail pictures and also some stock photos, some stock pictures. This will work, inshallah. 
Oh, oh. <laughs> oh that's the best. This is the best. Tell me what's going to happen next. This is the army of Pharaoh. Yeah, we might be there in front of him, but this one is no. This is the sea. Then. Yeah, yeah. This showed the parting of the sea better, and this showed the army chasing him better. Wow. wow. Millions of people waiting in the judgment day. Horrifying. I want some real good artistic. Yeah, realistic. It, okay, brother. Yeah, we should write everything we know. It's, it's go with horror details and realistic than red, maybe. Red? It will make the scene more reddish. <sighs> it's horrifying. Yeah, it's visual, but we will have something like this maybe in 100 years later. I don't know, but certainly we will have this day. We will be one of these guys waiting. You know about the details about the Judgment Day? Yeah, and there will be no clothes on us, as far as I know, but people will, will be so scared that they won't even look at each other, so they will be concerned about themselves, so they will be, yeah, running and shouting, and, you know, my mother will, you know, throw her baby. Okay, that's right, Prophet Muhammad Wasallam. hope that we won't have any results for this. Yeah. I think they wouldn't dare, but I don't know. Oh, band phrase. Band phrase. <laughs> He's banned. Could you please read circumventing this filter to violate our rules may result in your access being revoked. Okay, so they just have some red lines, so... Okay, that's good. <laughs> and this is also our red line, so it's it's better for them. What, what about the Prophet Jesus, Isa? Yeah, that's true. Right. Hope that we won't have any result. We have. This is not a banned category. <laughs> it, it's, it's not good. Jesus doesn't resemble... This guy, let's try something interesting. Imagine, we all have this dream, the Al-Aqsa being liberated. So let's write liberated Al-Aqsa and at least see the visual. Maybe it can move us to do some actions to achieve this, inshallah. You are ready, Raksa? It's good. These are Muslim people. Actually, Kubetu Sahra is fantastic, but it's not clear. It's blurry, kind of. I don't know. It's not bad. Okay. Yeah, it's like, you know, in the first phases of this AI. So I don't know what will happen really when it gets really developed and really uh, intricate. It's like a yeah. two-year-old yeah. child. Surat Bridge. Have you tried these? No. I don't know if they really know about this. Imagine, bro. Come on. Surat, leading to the heaven. Hell, leading to hell. Maybe you can write thinner than a hair and sharper than a knife. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, here we go. Whoa! Whoa! It's beyond my imagination. So scary. This is the hellfire below, and it leads to paradise. Wow. Yeah. What is happening? What are we going through? Yeah, it's funny that we see something here, but it's scary that we are certainly gonna experience this. We are gonna go through this bridge. Yeah, this is real. This is happening. Whether we like it or not, we are approaching this day and this bridge. Everything's gonna end. For example, 100 years later, it's certain that we are not going to be in this world. We are going to be underground. Just like a seed being a plant, when it gets underground, we as humans will be underground. It's certain there are 7.7 .7 billion people in the world. All of them will be underground. Like a plant growing, we will grow into new life and go through this bridge. If we are sinful, if we didn't pray and Allah didn't forgive us, we won't pass from this bridge and then fall to the hell. And every one of us will see the hellfire and we'll be, you know, passing on the hellfire. And if we are good Muslims, we will just pass this bridge incredibly quickly and just like a lightning, really. Yeah, yeah, may Allah protect us, really. Yeah, there's a hadith, and I don't know the Arabic version of this hadith, but the Prophet Muhammad said that the prayer is the pillars of the faith, pillars of the deen. So if we neglect our prayers, if we just don't give really importance to our prayers, then what kind of, you know, religion are we talking about? What religion are we living really? If the pillars are destroyed, the building is destroyed, the building will, yeah, will be collapsed. If you don't put your religion intact with the pillars of the prayer of the Salah, then you'll be buried under the building and end up in the hellfire. As towards eternity, we experienced something we loved. It was a different experience, but when we saw the Sirat, we couldn't love because we imagine ourselves walking there. You can imagine yourself walking on this bridge too. It's gonna happen. There are two possibilities for you and for me. We're gonna pass through the bridge, enter to paradise. We're going to see our people, our family, our grandmother's grandmother, the Prophet Adam, the Prophet Yusuf, the Prophet Isa, the Prophet Muhammad Everything's gonna be beautiful. And most importantly, 
you'll see Allah, mashallah. I have goosebumps right now. And the second possibility that we don't want to happen, you can't walk through the bridge. They don't let you walk. You start to fall into the hellfire. May Allah help us, brothers and sisters. And also I want to add one thing, you know, the verses in the Quran, the ayat in the Quran that is describing the graphic description of the hellfire, really. People sometimes have problems about these verses. But when we see these, it gives us a reality check, really. It gives us this sense of, you know, seriousness. And these descriptions in the Quran is out of mercy of Allah because he doesn't want us to end up in the hellfire. That's why he describes them in a really graphic fashion, detailed fashion. So it's not about his, you know, this anger or anything. It's about his mercy. It's out of his mercy. So we should understand and look at these verses and try to, you know, correct our lives and be a better Muslim in order to avoid this outcome, this end result, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.